guys, welcome back. So I was so excited because I'm making this video today. I am officially one year since I chopped my hair. I can't believe the time flew by so fast. I don't even know where it went, but we are here today and it's been a year and I am so excited. I feel like this is one of the better decisions I've ever made in my entire life. And you guys know, or some of you guys who have been watching me for a while, you know that when I chopped my hair off, which I'll probably link somewhere, when I chopped my hair off, I was all gung-ho about being text lax and I was like, I'm still going to text lax my hair and all that good stuff. But I just made the decision to go ahead and just become natural because what's the point your hair is short you might as well try it out and that's what happened to me and I ended up being absolutely in love with my hair especially for the fact that I have naturally thinner hair than many people I know there are some naturals who have like massive amounts of hair but I am just not one of those people I have thinner um, strands of hair I guess on my head so when I had my hair relaxed it was never full and I would always if you guys have known me personally you know I have always had braids or weaves or other things in and I don't know if it was a conscious decision for me to cover my hair up but it was just a thing that I preferred my hair with fuller thicker longer hair and when I chopped my hair off and discovered all the diverse things that my natural hair could do I just fell in love even more and I am so excited with all of this um, I let me show you guys what I did today was I just washed my hair deep conditioned and what else did I do I have been using this new system where I use castor oil right out of the shower and I use this one from Whole Foods because the Jamaican black castor oil, to be quite honest with you, I am extremely allergic to. It makes my hair feel like it is on fire. Like, when I first started my hair journey, I remember I was on Kiss and I was reading all these forums and all the, about all these ladies who were like, Jamaican black castor oil is so good, it makes my hair grow like weeds, and I was like, okay, I'll try it. So I ordered it, and why did my hair feel like it was on fire? I was scratching it so bad, and I thought it was because, you know, it's something that newbies go through, and I'm all like what do you do for an itchy scalp and I'm looking for all types of essential oils and the second I stopped using that oil my scalp was great so it's not for everybody and I went out and I went to Whole Foods and I got this one which is so much better for my own hair and what I do is when I wash my hair I put this on directly out of the shower this stays in the bathroom and then I use my leave-in which is this one the Cantu Shea Butter and then, because of the winter and the fact that my hair has been so dry lately, I decided that I wanted to try some sort of butter. Some sort of butter that was great for sealing, rich with oils. And I didn't want to order anything because I know there are a lot of um, small businesses, a lot of natural ladies out there who have lots of delicious products for natural hair but I just felt like I wanted something that I can access easily just for the time being and so I picked up this um, Nubian Heritage EVOO and Moringa Repair Extend Hair Butter I guess that's what it looks like I don't know if I can zoom in even more for you to see and I love Nubian Heritage stuff. I love their lotions. And this is a butter. This is what it looks like. It's actually a little more on the oily side because it's literally shea butter, um, oil. What is it? Olive oil, shea butter, um, jojoba oil, safflower seed oil, avocado oil, beeswax. So, I mean, I'm talking about packed with amazing oils and butters in here. And I just figured, you know what, why don't I just go ahead and use this to seal my um, moisturizer in and or my leave-in in. And it's been working amazingly. And when I put this on my hair, I also use my um, Shea Butter, what is it, my Shea Moisture's um, leave-in. So I use those four products to keep my hair moisturized during the week. And if I feel like I need more moisture, I just spritz a little bit of water and add a little bit of this on my hair. And it has been working great for me so far I've been using it for like two weeks so I'll probably have an extensive review coming up a little later but I'm zoomed in so I might as well show you guys what my hair looks like up close so this is me with just banded hair and because shrinkage is real out here on these streets you can't really see the real length of my hair which is fine with me I didn't feel like straightening my hair but whatever you guys can see and I'll put up pictures on my blog. You can go ahead and check that out. 
of my length check. But I guess I could just do a quick one here to show you guys where my hair length is right now. I am at the collarbone over here and over here as well. And on the sides, even though they look super short because of this cray cray shrinkage, it's down here. And I think it's the same on the other side as well. Where are we at? Yeah, we're down there somewhere. So you guys know, I don't know if you guys watched my 11th month update. Was it that one? I talked about the fact that I want to be APL by next year, February. So we'll see how that goes. So there we go with my hair. And I don't know if you guys, let me try to show you guys the looser texture in the back because it is absolutely ridiculous how loose the hair in the back is compared to the front. I don't know if you guys can see this. Can you see? And at first I really thought my hair had issues. Like I thought it was like damaged, but the more that keeps growing from the back, the more I realize that that's just how my hair texture is back there. And sometimes there'll be like long strands in the back and then awkward short strands in the front, but I guess that's all part of it. Um, I love my hair. I love my texture. I love all of it. And I'm really excited. I can't wait to have much longer natural hair and um, I'm definitely enjoying every stage of it so that's pretty much it that's it about my hair blabber and my one year mark thank you guys so much for watching and um, if you have any questions or comments snide remarks um, leave them in the bottom and if you guys have one year experiences definitely leave them in the bottom let me know um, also don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Anani Josie, I keep the same name for everything and check out my blog if you want for other things and pictures on my one year, year mark. And that's it, I think. And check out my previous videos. I have quite a few out already. So I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.